Ah, oh, sorry about that, folks. Had a bit of an issue there. Let me just see if we are live again here now. Uh, let me just get a few things sorted. Um, in the last video, I was trying to get the SCX6 to run on 4S and I didn't have the right connection. But I actually found a wire, an adapter, and a couple of battery terminals. So I should be able to solder them onto that wire, which will then plug into that and let me run that in 4S. So I'm going to try and get that done quickly because that's the thing I'm most interested in. And if I have time, I'll fit the Hyrax tires ready for the morning. It's getting late. I don't know what time it is. It must be oh, nearly 11 o'clock at night. And we're set to go on the big trails in the morning. Uh, we're all meeting up at about a quarter to 10. If I have time, I'll go live tomorrow and let you guys see it. But let's turn the camera around. And uh, I don't have much uh, uh, luck with soldering wires and doing things live on YouTube. Um, if any of you have followed me before, you'll have seen I've set a battery on fire in here. Only the other day I nearly smoked an ESC. So, do you know what? Me and live streams and wires don't mix. So look, this might be worth watching. Or it might work according to plan. I don't know. But I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to try and get this SCX6 running on 4S to see what this AGF 125 kilogram servo is like so i'll turn around and you can see my hands here and i can see it on the other. hopefully fingers crossed it works yes yes rcu next tuesday i'm back again uh my, my phone shut down uh i've no idea why what happened it said it was having technical issues and i don't know just too many birthdays and probably me being an idiot uh i suppose you can see my ipad in the background here that's why i can see any comments it's not very professional but i'll maybe turn it around so you you can't see it but right my plan is i want to be able to connect this battery to whatever they are xc or s i don't even know what you could ec fives and it just won't fit but i have an adapter which this will fit into where is it where, where did i put it even? oh see me right this will fit onto this battery and if i can solder these connections onto here they will fit into this adapter which in turn will fit into this ec5 like that and plug straight in to the scx6 so that's the plan let's see if i can manage to do this live without blowing myself up um probably not a, a great idea when i'm having a a, a fizzy coke but let's give it a go anyway because that's the kind of guy I am. You want to get yourself one of these wee solder irons. Cracking job. Let's get her lit up. If it will, there we go. That's heating up. Let's get my connections. Uh, let's trim these wires. And get my solder. I'm sure whether you'll learn anything here tonight or whether you'll just get a laugh, who knows. But I'll tell you one thing, we're going to find out and it's not for the want to try and doing all of this, so. Hopefully it works. Uh, you guys watching on here now are probably seasoned pros with doing your soldering. I'm not, I'm just an amateur idiot. So, what I do know is we need to tin our wires first and tin those wee connections. Cut ourselves a bit of solder. Let's see if this is hot enough yet. That's getting there. 
Right. I always just use a bit of blue tack to hold the stuff. We've got four people watching. Hey, are you? All I know is this RCU next Tuesday. Who else is on? Say hello. Let me know if you have any tips. Do you have an SCX6 or do you see any crawling at all? Right, let's see if I can get that to stay there. Hopefully this works. The SCX six is your favourite. I absolutely love it. I say I love the ten scale stuff. And I was full of buyer's remorse whenever I bought this uh, 6 until I got it on the trails and I have to say absolutely love it. My only issue is there's not enough people actually have one where I am. I do try to get them to, to buy one but they're that bloody expensive. that one sufficiently tinned. This makes me nervous doing this stuff live on camera. I actually made it to the three pigs. I don't know if you follow my channel at all but if you go back uh, I actually took the SCX 10 the gladiator 10 3 the gladiator up to the top of uh, uh, Mount Binion over here in Northern Ireland along with a few other guys um, that was a cracking day out uh, the gladiator was actually running the uh, standard servo standard motor That should be sufficiently tinned. <laughs> Hello Ivan, you're in the pub. A wee bit more on that. Sorry, I'm going quiet here because it's hard to concentrate and do this at the same time. Right, they are nicely tinned. Let's see if we can get a bit on these here too. It will go boom. Ivan, you're probably right. Usually does on my channel, as you well know.
Oh, the solder's getting close, gonna burn my fingers. Right. I wonder should I get a bit of heat shrink over these here. A bit of red, a bit of black. You've got some bits to do now, nice to meet you. Heck, it's, yes, I will indeed. 100%. Listen, thanks for tuning in. And I'll certainly go and check out your channel. And yes, have a look at a few of the videos. You'll see us going up uh, uh, up the mountains with our crawlers. So hopefully tune in and see you again, dude. Thanks for watching. Hopefully very shortly, I will have this ready to run on 4S here. Doesn't stick right. Need my pliers. That got seriously hot there. stick this time you can do it Connor dealer no wine tonight are you looking at the bottom left of the screen there can you not see it might not be wine but it's a uh, funny colored coke this one here Connor what sort of coke do you know goes that colour on the top? Yeah, so we put them in a vice even, but unfortunately in my man cave, I don't have a vice in here. I do have down in the garage, but I don't have here in the man cave. Hopefully this will stick. I haven't even got a good enough light to see what I'm doing here. You thought it was fizzy buck fast in a glass. All I know is things are getting bloody hot here. Not used to doing this sort of thing live and under pressure. Right. 
hopefully that's that and hopefully I can get the blue tack off all this crap <sighs> once it cools down <sighs> have another mouthful of fizzy fizzy buck fast or tonic wine not allowed to say buck fast are you let's see if we can get this off here Blue tack's dead on on connectors, isn't it? Is blue tack conductive? Black Venom radio control. Great channel. Watch you all the time. Thanks, dude. I wish there was more people watched. I'm doing this almost two years. Uh, been monetized in July. And you have to earn £60 at least through that youtube partner program before they'll send you out any payment i haven't even so much as money to earn my first 60 pound yet so i don't do this for the money i just do it for the love and because i'm an idiot right they are soldered on and i think you'll absolute work of art not Get this heat shrink to shrink. And we'll get her plugged in and see if this thing runs in 4S. Or well, hopefully it does run in 4S and doesn't go up in smoke because I'm supposed to be going out in the morning with it. And I need to get back racing again. Ivan, I don't know what way to comment to that there because... Is that a drink or is that a girl? I don't, I don't know. Certainly not one of my more prettier soldering jobs, but half it works. I'm alone we'll here within the next minute. Right. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully this will plug in here. Which it does. That one will go in there. And I think to be safe, I should tape them up so that doesn't short out or do something stupid. How about we do one at a time? Don't do this at home, guys, eh? Not what to say. Where's my red tape? I have red tape somewhere. Where'd it go? Some red tape for the red side just to make it look very professional. Hey Connor and uh, Ivan, you guys racing tomorrow, are you? Ivan, it's a drink, it's not a woman. A black Russian. Yes, I probably would like that. Right. Uh, We've made up this little adapter, which should go from that to that. Let's see if this works. We might have to cut this 
video short here and not bother with the tires but sure you've all changed tires before because my battery's telling me that it's nearly flat again on my phone which is pretty useless let's get this tested before the battery goes flat move my coke move this tire right can you guys see this here all right if i turn this around right let's plug it on the 3s again in case you weren't on the last